Hey Collective. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're returning. It's the Pisces High Priestess. You guys can call me Siren. We're going to go ahead and get into um, the message for today. We're going to see how I feel about this one. So I'm doing um, some of the reading here on YouTube and then we're going to get into the rest of it, go deeper, and that'll be on Patreon. So the uh, first thing I'm getting here that kind of starts with that is uh, if you give people kind of seem like a two of pentacles if you give um people the option to give you less then they will give you less uh wherever this means in your life you need to make something a non-negotiable or maybe it's dating maybe you're going through your non-negotiables but um i said this like two years ago Yes. <laughs> yeah, don't make something. Go for what you actually want. Do what you actually want. Yeah, this this message kind of came out a year or two ago. There's a two of wands, yeah. Because you're really nice. You're very sweet. This came out because um, at the time I had, like I was, uh, I had ordered a meal with somebody and two desserts came with it. One dessert was like cheesecake and the other one was like a brownie or something. And I asked the person like, which one do you want? Like I'm giving the, the, them the option. I'm like, which one do you want? And they give it back to me. No, well, which one do you want? Baby, both of us wanted the cheesecake. I knew we both wanted the cheesecake, but I was giving them the option first. So when they said, when I said, which one do you want to them? And they brought it back to me. No, which one do you want? I said, no, don't do that. You got to stop doing that. Because you're going to, sometimes you will bet that people will know, oh, well, dang, this person know I want the other cheesecake. They know I want the cheesecake. So hopefully when I say, when I tell it back to them, like, no, what do you want? Hopefully they'll know to say the brownie because they know I want the cheesecake. It's like you could be betting on somebody or other people to to go for the less desirable thing. They're not going to do that. They're going to go for the, the main thing that they want. So you need to always do that because you will find that you will always come second if you don't. Like, I hope that makes sense. It's really the only analogy that I have. But sometimes it'd be like that. We, you know, we're just nice. We're like, oh, like, um, whatever it is, like, what do you want? We just kind of give them the option. What do you want? Or it's like you, uh, so. This is moon day, but when it comes to like Mars energy, right? Taking the initiative, taking a step forward, being in motion and taking charge and being the leader or, or, or like being first. I feel like a lot of times that's what that's about or the collective needs to tune into that energy because, again, it's just like I don't, I don't let's see, let's see, <laughs> let's see, let's see, yeah, the Empress, you're really sweet, so, but something's like Don't allow, yeah, because I feel like you're not getting enough as the empress and you could be wondering why. And maybe, because I'm wondering why this energy is coming out now. I feel like the, the this week will be, it's important or something by Friday, but you're wondering why you're not getting a lot. But we know that the empress energy is one who receives, one who receives. Sometimes you have to like, sometimes. You have to take in order to receive, and it doesn't mean maybe even physically taking, but like just voicing your opinion or speaking or laying out some standards or values, making something non-negotiable so that, because yeah, people going to come to give you things, give you things, but you may not, I don't want you to give me the brownie. I want that shit. I wanted the cheesecake. Yay. The Empress got something though. Yeah, I got something, but I, I didn't really get what I want. I know someone here, you feel like, you or you feel like life is a trick or something or 
I don't know, the universe fucking around with you. It's like, yeah, you can have what you want, but it's like you, you feel like there's always a but to it or, or like you get what you want, kind of. It's not exactly what you want, but you get it. And maybe that's happened a couple times and I don't, I don't know, it's irritating. You're like, who's playing? You're like, who's playing a game on me? Because I be asking for what I want. I'm so mad that, you know, I always say, I want this. I want this. I'm trying to manifest. And you, you get your manifestation, but it's like not, it just doesn't, it doesn't fulfill you because it's just not hidden the same way. Whatever your vision was or whatever your, what was on your vision board or whatever, like, I don't know. You've been craving something all day. You've been craving Chick-fil-A all day, all day, all day. You've been craving Chick-fil-A. You just wanted, all you wanted was their nuggets or something. You go there. You're like, can I get the nuggets? Can I get this? They're like, yeah, I mean, we have exactly your order, but we don't have nuggets. We have strips or just like some stupid, stupid, just anything stupid. Or you try to order, you're like, do y'all have Coke? Yeah, we have Coke, but it's only Diet Coke. It's like, you feel like you can never... You something there's something here with like you feel like the pre the uh precision is off something's not really precise the precision is off, but I do feel like you are gonna get something that you want yeah just something maybe oh yeah you don't really I don't really know how to ask either so yeah something there's a message here about like sometimes you do have to just voice your your opinion or something. Or, um, yeah. Say what you really want. You're being nice. You're being nice. Or you think that somebody or an establishment is broke. Or you think they don't have enough. So if they don't have enough or whatever, what you really want, then guess what? I guess that establishment, that person, that place... That's not, that's not where you were meant to get your manifestation because they don't have it. It's not in their energy jar. It's not in their bank. It's not in their whatever, but that's what you want, but they don't have it. So that doesn't mean that you, you bend, right? Because feminine energy does adapt. Okay. Well, you don't have this. I'll, I'll, right. But there's this balance because both energies are needed because sometimes you do need to balance and be like, you know what? I can't get what I want, but you know what? This is okay. This is doable. I can make this work. But so I guess list some non-negotiables or you just have to know yourself better to know in your head. Like, okay, if I adapt and change to this, I'm not going to regret it. I'll be okay if I don't get what I want with this. Like, I don't shit. I don't know. Maybe it's like a car. You're like, you know what? I have the baseline or I have this, but that's okay. Cause I was going to put some modes to it, put some stuff on it anyway. But maybe when it comes to like a home you're trying to buy or rent, you're like, no, I need this to be, I'm going to be here for the next five years. I need this to be what I want it to be. Ain't no, oh, well, I could just, no, 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 no. Cause then I say this, it's certain things where you're gonna, you're, it's, yeah. Cause this is like spiritual, um, energy, Cause money, money and currency is just an energy. This is like your spiritual bank. We already talked about your physical bank a couple of weeks ago when I said, "Look, y'all don't have to cash out on everything with how y'all look. Pick your certain things where you're gonna you're gonna spend heavy money." Okay, I don't know how to do my hair, so I'm gonna be spending a bag to get my hair done. But my clothes gonna be regular. They gonna be from Target. Nah, fuck Target. Too much money now. Forget that. Forget that. Forget I even said that. I don't know who Target think they are. Target be more than uh Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and um what's the and Burlington. I don't know who Target thought they was. They need to calm down. Sorry for my Target. I love Target too, but like don't forget who you are. <laughs> but maybe that's me though. See, maybe Target's like, no, we're gonna pick a certain clientele. We're not gonna adjust ourselves. Nope. <laughs> Period. You don't adjust yourself because I know one thing about it. I'm not going to adjust me either. I'm not going to shop there. <laughs> I'll shop at Target for um, my skincare and stuff. You will never see me in the clothes aisle ever, baby. Never. The fuck I look like. Anyways, sponsor me, Target. <laughs> I'm being a hater. Uh, 
but no, we talked about before, like, okay, I don't want to do that. Or, or I like, I really like shoes. My shoes just can't be cheap. I can't go cheap with that. Okay. I'll, one thing that, um, that's a part of my wardrobe that I will uh, spend a lot of money on is shoes and maybe with my perfumes, that'll be more so affordable or cheap or whatever, maybe this and that, like switching it out. It doesn't have to be head to toe, just, you know, so physically, yeah. And like, um, when it comes to, uh, like, like the physical, but also everything else. Um, so I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of getting like pick your battles. What do you want to have to deal with or put up with? Is it, um, this could be a job offer. They're like, okay, what's your desired salary? You're like, I don't know. Like, what are you guys willing to, what are you willing? We're willing to give you $9. Like, why'd you even ask that? Now you, now you working for $9. You better ask what you actually want. I want $28. I want $29. $30. And if they can, they can. And if they can't, they can't. Because I feel like what happens a lot of times for you is you could run into people, and it's not for everybody, but you could run into people, whether it's a dating, job, whatever, that they have both. They have what you want. They wait to see what you're going to say. And if you don't say you want this ultimate goal, they're like, okay, um, here's a $9 salary then. Since you laid the option, you left the option to me. I do have both. I'm not going to let you know that, though. But since you asked for nine, I'll give you nine. It's like, sometimes like ask for more. So let me finish out this part so I can get on to Patreon. um, Because we have more things to talk about. You're going to see, for somebody, you're going to see a, um, dang, I hope I didn't forget. Oh, you're. You're going to see or witness, or you're going to do it. You're going to break a glass. You're going to drop a glass and break it, or you're going to, but keep your mind open. Understand how creative the universe is. Because I'm seeing breaking glass, but it's going to be like one of like several things. One of several things that, yeah, anyways, you're going to break a glass. Somebody else is going to break a glass. You're just going to hear a glass being broken. Like you're going to be watching a show. And you'll maybe you'll hear the glass being broken or you'll see a picture of broken glass, like some type of like artwork or something. Or you ever seen like an artwork of like a broken heart? I ain't saying it got to be a heart, but like something broken or breaking of glass, something. So something's no longer an illusion. That's kind of what it gives me. But I also feel like when you see it, you're going to know what it means a little bit deeper for you. Um, you're also going to see a pinnacle. Yeah. Ooh, a lot of money. You're going to see a pinnacle or you're going to see, you're going to see a pinnacle or you're going to witness a lot of coins falling. Maybe a lot of coins fall out of your purse or something or somebody else's purse. Yeah. The six of pinnacles. You're going to, yeah, you're going to see like coins falling out of somebody's purse or your purse. Or maybe it's just a, um, maybe that could be a commercial too for like the, um, not, I almost said my local casino, but like a casino or something. Maybe you want to try your look at the casino. Just don't pick up no bad habits. Okay. Okay. So we're going to get into more on Patreon. What happens when you actually do this? Cause this is going to be really nice for the week. We're going to get into what it is you may be trying to manifest why you could be trying to um settle yeah let other people do the settling baby don't settle <laughs> we don't settle unless it's a debt we trying to pay then we settle and even then we may not settle because guess what when you settle it's still something that comes with it right if you have um some type of outstanding bill or whatever on your credit report, if you pay it in full, it's going to read on your credit report that you paid it in full. And that's going to bump up your credit a little bit more than if they see that you settle for it. If you settle, it's still going to bump up your credit. 
but it's not going to do it like, um, like that. Like, like if you were to pay in full. And then there's another, another option. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to talk about the fuck like you make another way or something like that. Because some people don't know that, but when it comes to, like, credit, again, you could, like, pay in full, you could settle, or you could do something. I forgot exactly what it's called, but you settle, but they still mark it as paid in full on your credit report, even though you settle. So, two birds, one stone. All right. That was all for this part of the reading, I guess. Uh, <laughs> be sure to comment, like, comment, subscribe. Go over to my Patreon for the full readings. Um, the $44 one, that's going to be the planetary that we do, the full planetary. And then that's going to be um, Saturn, Pluto, Neptune, and Uranus. So those are the outer planets. Those are the, the big three, really four. And then this as well. All right, I'll see you on my next video.